But we are here to talk about astronomy and potential signs of life on an asteroid. No, no, and uh, potentially no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, so this is, uh, uh, we, we talked uh, a, a while back um, maybe uh, about this asteroid return mission. So there was this NASA mission that went to an asteroid, Bennu, and uh, got the samples, so it, like, you know, and brought them back. So this uh, mission got there, I think it returned in 2023. And then it was in this sort of like, you know, you can think of nothing more sacred than those samples because uh, th those have been brought from the asteroid. And so they were in this chamber and it took them a while to actually extract from them. And then those were distributed across some labs um, in different places, including actually uh, to uh, some exchange of samples to Japan, because Japan had its own mission, Hayabusa 2. They brought in samples from another asteroid, Ryugu. And so some samples from them, from Ryugu, came to the US, to NASA, and some of the samples of NASA went actually to the Japanese uh, scientists of JAXA, their space agency. So here is the reason why you want to bring samples back because rocks from space, meteoroids, they do hit the Earth. And some of them, if you can find them quickly, those are great samples. And in fact, that's how we knew that asteroids have building blocks of life, or, or some of them have. And so there was always an interesting element to how did life start here? Where, where did these elements came from? 